This is John Paul Ryan. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. If you guys follow pop culture, Marvel, Star Wars, sci-fi, Amber Heard, Vashani Depp, whatever it is, you might know we got this covered. What they do, a lot of times, is rumors, and I follow them for that just for fun, maybe once a week or something. But this is not a rumor, this is factual. And they take a nice swing at Amber, which I think a lot of you guys will enjoy, but that's not to the end. So first, let's cover what they're saying, and let's think about this for a minute. It's called A Forgotten Amber Heard Movie Hits Netflix Tomorrow. So this was about two days ago. December is set to be an exciting month for Netflix subscribers, and the first day alone will bring it with a large selection of movies and shows to add to your ever-growing list of content to watch. For instance, there's Tom Hanks, The Da Vinci Code, and its sequel, Angels and Demons, and 10 seasons of the beloved sci-fi series Stargate and popular Adam Sandler flicks, 50 First Dates and Little Nicky, among others. Among many others, okay. But it's not only the big name titles that will be vying for your attention, as Netflix is adding a number of overlooked flicks that are hoping to get a second life on the service, and one such film that you may want to keep an eye on if you're in the mood for an action thriller with some solid talent in it is Three Days to Kill. The movie stars Kevin Costner as Ethan Renner, a terminally ill spy who gives up his life of deception to spend his final days with his family. But when an elite CIA assassin named Vivi DeLay, played by Amber Heard, offers him the option to complete one final mission in exchange for a drug that could save him, he sees an opportunity to rebuild his relationships and get a true second chance. So, the news here basically is that Amber's in this movie. That's why they wrote this article, I think. Apparently it wasn't a great movie, though. The film received mixed reviews from critics and currently sits at a weak 28% on Rotten Tomatoes, but praise was given to its well-designed action sequences, with many reviewers noting that its weakest elements involve underdeveloped family drama that undermines the movie's overarching plot. Still, if you're just looking for some harmless action, there's much worse out there. Okay, so the story sucks, the plot sucks, the acting, well, most of it sucks, as we could assume, so it's not that great. But now, let's see what you came for, and that's the stab they take at Amber Heard. A lot of people may find the inclusion of Amber Heard a deterrent. However, given her ongoing struggle to prove that she wasn't abusive to former partner Johnny Depp, a petition to remove her from Aquaman 2 has far exceeded 1.5 million signatures, and the actress is facing an uphill battle to remain relevant and respected in the industry as evidence mounts against her. That being said, it hasn't all been wins for Depp either, and plenty more revelations on both sides are sure to arise as the court cases continue to play out. So, I mean, they didn't actually say anything negative about Johnny Depp there. They just said there was some court stuff going on, this and that, but they didn't say anything like, oh, Johnny was found guilty, and they didn't harp upon how he shouldn't be in movies and things like that. They mentioned Depp because they probably want to keep it a little diplomatic, but it seems like they took the harder swing at Amber Heard, and it looks like someone like me wrote this article, or someone like you wrote this article, where it's like, you know, uphill battle for her, it's a deterrent for people, and I think because of the petition, they can now say things like that. So once again, I gotta say, for the people passing by here saying petitions don't change anything, petitions don't do anything, I know what you mean. You mean the petition won't get her kicked out of the movie, but what I've been saying all along is that's not what petitions are for. Petitions are for exposure, awareness, making people think. And that's sure as hell what this one did, and a few others did, like the Game of Thrones one. So while HBO's not going to look at a Game of Thrones thing and be like, we got to change this, look at the petition, of course not. Warner Brothers, of course not, is going to be like, look at the petition, got to get a router there. No, but they're probably going to look at it. I mean, Forbes covered it. We got it covered, covered it. Multiple videos cover it. And I'm sure I'm forgetting to mention some other dot coms and magazines and things that mention the petition. So you bet they've seen it. And you bet it's in their mind that, well, we could figure that's 1.5 million people not seeing this movie, if not more. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down below. Quick little video, I just thought it's nice to feature things where they take a little stab at Amber Heard. Swing at Amber Heard. Shot at Amber Heard. Whatever you want to say. Consider subscribing here. Doing shoutouts. Special thanks. Shoutout to Helly Skelly, who sent me this on Twitter, so I used it. Thank you very much. If you don't subscribe, 
I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. I cracked my voice on purpose. I know, I know. See you next time.